Okay, you heard the instruction from Yabera, and we're ready to go. Super Walterweights, Jordan Tai and Amir Zayeda. And as you heard him give the instructions, it's interesting to know that here in Paris, there will be some fights with elbows on the Super League card. We will look for that as both fighters are ready to tee things up. If you're new to Super League, you will hear music in the background throughout. And that music is traditional Muay Thai music. Played live when at fights in Thailand to denote and to get the fighters moving. The music sets the rhythm for the pace of the fight. Right now, both fighters killing each other. Nice combination there by Jordan Tai to the body of Amir Zayeda. You see Amir Zayeda stalking, looking forward, and you see that high kick immediately come up by Jordan Tai. And he mentioned keeping those gloves up. That's something Amir has been working on. You can see it right away. He's doing a good job early on in this fight, but pays for it with a nice right hand there by Jordan Tai. GP Veda doesn't count it. Uh, again, great referee knows when the fighter is hurt and when they're not, and let the fight go on. Jordan Ty really digging in with those punches. We saw the punching power on display in his last fight. He could really hurt you with an assortment of punches, and there's a high kick. He slips down after landing the kick. Jordan Ty looking to me just a little bit quicker than he has been in his last fight. I mean, really take it to Amir right now. Yeah, yeah, all he's doing is covering up right now. I mean, that's all he's done so far in the fight. And it's one thing you got to be careful of when you're when you're a fighter. Uh, getting punched is those looping punches. Sometimes you don't see them, and those are the ones that cause the most damage sometimes. A good left hand landed by Amir. He snuck it in there. It looked like it backed up Jordan Ty, but he slips when he tried to land the kick. And Ty goes right back at it. He's a very aggressive fighter. He will he will counter punch anything you throw, and he'll also lead with a good shot. You see him creating an angle, circling him a little bit, and it makes that high kick even more devastating because you don't see it coming. Nice combination there, falling with the low kick. Yeah, I love, I love what he's doing. Jordan Ty really going up high, up low. I mean, right now, Mir is going to have to defend a lot of different situations. Combination again landed by Jordan Ty. Good start for Jordan Ty in this fight. Yeah. Goes down to the body now. I mean, I tell you what, he's doing a great job of working his way up and down the body. We're only in the first round. He's already got a good rhythm going here. Here you see he's the taller fighter. He's got about three or four inches right now on Jordan Ty, but he's not been able to use that length in the fight. The barrel will bring Amir to the corner, wiping his nose and wiping off the body there. A little bit of blood already coming out of the nose of Amir Zayeda. Hand around one. Nice body shots there by Jordan Tai. You could hear him just digging in. Beautiful technique there by Jordan Tai. And Tai oh. just digging and throwing those shots. I mean, you can feel it. every shot. And Amir is taking a lot of punishment here in round number one. Perfect hey. warning him. Hitting on the break. So we're coming to the conclusion of round one. A huge round for Jordan Tai. Nice way to start off. More Super League action coming up. Welcome back to Super League. Show you some of the action here in round number one, and it was a big yeah. round for Jordan Ty. And you can see him here just landing those punches. That was a knockdown. He's lucky that the uh, referee Jimmy Bell didn't call it. You see him here, that left hand sends him down to the ground. And those looping punches are the ones that you got to be most careful of as a fighter. You don't see them; they come in your blind spot, and they can really cause a lot of damage. He was just teeing off. Did a great job of working the body. <laughs> landed some great <laughs> body <laughs> shots, including the right left combinations. And he just really had good rhythm on his hands. He just wasn't going at one speed all the time. A little bit of off speed in there, making the punches land a little bit harder, a little di deeper, and then speeding it up and slowing it down. And that makes it really, really hard to defend when you don't know when and what is coming. Legend after one round, uh, I guess we scored for Jordan Ty. What, what is? What do, what do you give though? Is it a ten? And a, probably not a ten eight round, or is it a ten eight round? Well, you know, it's a ten nine round. I mean, Jordan dominated that round, but he did not get that knockdown. I thought he should have had. There's Shane Chapman in his corner. He's going to be fighting later tonight. One of the great fighters of New Zealand as well. And uh, I, I gave that round to Jordan Ty. Ten nine. Good round for him and. We get set for round number two. Amir Zayeda has got to do, he's got to get to work. I mean, that's the bottom line. He did have a couple of decent shots in that first round, but they were few and far in between. So we start round number two here. Jordan Ty in the dark shorts. You see Amir Zayeda in the white with the leopard trim. Jordan Ty, I mean, he just, every punch he throws is so powerful. He's just got heavy hands. 
Let's come go. He's completely relaxed, and that's one thing that you want to tell your fighter when you punch him to things to stay relaxed. You're a little tight and too tense. You're not going to get that speed or that power to the target. The Yeh to try to let his hands go, but he's having to defend so much, he really has to be able to mount much of an offense. It's interesting. I mean, I think Zayed is a, the taller of the two fighters, and if I were in his corner, I'd tell him to use his push kick a little bit more. I think the sign he's probably doing. Jordan at the end of his, uh, his weapon. I think that he's walking into Jordan right now by allowing Jordan to tee off on him. And I think Amir might be stunned here if he had a, a right hand and a nice kick. And now I think Jordan Time feels the same way. He's starting to move in now. Amir not defending it very well. Good combination. He's knocked down. Great Wait. job by Jordan Ty. You can Four. see he was feeling it in that Five. second round. Six. And Amir Zayed in a Seven. lot of trouble trying to get to his feet Eight. now. Fight. He's back up. Fight. Still a little bit wobbly. And it's it's interesting. I mean, I... Oh, Jordan Ty really bringing it, Clifton. All over him. Amir oh, taking too it. many punches. I think the Four. referee... Oh, he's going to give him another Four. count here. Three. He's lucky he didn't call the fight Four. because Amir Zayed in a lot of trouble. Six. And I don't Seven. know if he'll be able to come back Eight. after this Hunter. count. Go fight. Oh, he's going to give him one more shot, but he's not moving very well. Jordan Ty smelling hey. blood. A lot of blood there coming out of the, the, the nose here of Amir Zayed. And it's just interesting. I, I was going to mention, you know, the first time we saw Amir fight in his debut in Portugal, he looked awesome. Really, really aggressive, good timing. And then in that last fight, he got knocked down against... Uh, is Van Toth in Hungary, and since that fight, and during the end of that fight, and even now, he seems really, really tentative. You know, like he's hesitating. Doctors call the end of the fight. Wow. He's stopping the fight. Amir Zayeda cannot continue. Jordan Ty gets a big win tonight in Super League. Wow, and I, you know, it's just real bad luck for Amir. But I, I mean, I noticed in this fight, he came out with his hands really high up, but wasn't really throwing, almost like he was afraid, a little gun shy. And unfortunately, when you're fighting someone of Jordan Ty's caliber, Joy. being gun shy is not what you want to be. Jordan Ty just coming off a big, tough fight from Peter Crook, and I think that that made him so much more intense for this one. Yeah, he did, absolutely. And just great combinations. I mean, working the body, working the head, you see. Great right hand landed by Ty Cool. Oh, left. Right on the butt. Just a good three punch combination there. Right on the butt. Beautiful shot there by Jordan Ty. Hey, let's start on the This was the second time that Yabera had to step in. Now, Ropes is really holding him here up there. I mean, just the devastation. Look at the power. Jordan Ty just digging in with every single shot. Just look at this. So that's a five-punch combination. Six. Six. <laughs> Seven. He hey, continues. Really go, huh? And they're all landing on the target. Yeah, you know? right. I mean, Amir Zayeda did well to Rick, stay on his feet. The doctor looked at Amir Zayeda, said he could not go. And there's your winner tonight, Jordan hey. Ty, looking very, well, very impressive. Uh, as he comes back to Super League and huh? is very triumphant over Amir Zayeda from Egypt. You see Amir right now. Dejected, disappointed. But Jordan Ty just the better fighter tonight in Super League. Let's go up to our announcer. The official decision. Donc du résultat de ce premier combat et déclaré vainqueur. The winner is au coin bleu on the blue corner. Jordan Ty. Jordan Ty is your winner of the fight. Looks very impressive tonight against Amir Zayeda. We will take a quick break. We'll come back at seven great fights. We come back to Super League action on the Fight Network.